During the next couple of hours, we're going to look at some of the news stories that are kicking around. And from Monday, students at the University of Bristol will start being tested for coronavirus before going home for Christmas. It follows a request from the government that all students, particularly those travelling to leave the city during the winter break, should take two tests three days apart before travelling away to other parts of the country. Our reporter, Andrew Plant, has been down to the new testing centre at Wills Hall in Stoke Bishop today. Hi, Andrew. Tell us about the, the new facilities that the university has set up. Hi, Steve. Yeah, so this is this um, mass exodus of students, really, almost a million students, apparently, moving around the country. Um, and the government set a window, didn't it, about a month ago. They said between the 3rd of December and the 9th, they were going to try and get as many students as possible tested. Um, but I think universities looked at that and thought that was a bit short. So um, most universities that I've spoken to are going to start on the 30th, so next Monday. Um, I went to Bristol today, Wills Hall, as you said. They've got a nice little setup, actually. So they've everywhere had to find a venue and staff, and you know it's not a small operation. It's a it's a big thing to try and get sorted. Um, what they've done is go to the council and they've borrowed the little voting booths, so the individual voting booths. So they've got loads of those set up with extra sort of plastic protection, so you can go in, make an appointment, individually come in, um, do your test. And then you go go away and you get your test in about 20 minutes. I think they text the result to you. And then, as you say, three days later, you have to come and back and, back and do another one. And if you're clear, then you can travel home. And if you're not, then you get to isolate. But then you've still got time to get home for Christmas. That's the theory. Now, they're doing lateral flow tests. What does that mean? Yeah, so you probably heard about the PCR test. The PCR test is sort of the gold standard of coronavirus testing. Um, but these lateral flows are much quicker, basically. They're, they... Um, work a bit like a pregnancy test, very much the same technology. So you do a throat swab, basically, or a nasal swab, I think, and um, it sort of detects coronavirus if it's present and um, you get two lines if you're positive. So it's very much like a pregnancy test. Um, so they're not they're not as reliable, basically. That's, that's the bottom line. I think they're sort of 70% reliable and it kind of depends at what stage if, if you're positive at what stage through the process you are um to, to how reliable they are but that's why you take two of course so um 70 reliability but they have been described as the answer to getting us out of this whole virus problem so if you can mass test enough people it's reliable enough to give you enough accurate results that you can then basically isolate people if they've got disease and stop it from spreading that's the idea is it a similar sort of regime to that that's found at bristol airport um, yeah, well, the, the lateral flow tests are the quick tests, so that there's only one quick test. It's the same thing that um, Bristol City Council is part of at the moment. There's a mass testing programme, 50 local authority areas were given 10,000 tests. I think they're arriving yesterday or today, actually. Um, so you can't test everyone in the city with those, but what you can do is when you get an outbreak somewhere, rather than just sort of asking people to isolate if they've got symptoms, you can go in before those people develop symptoms, test them, and then if they're positive, they can isolate too. So it's just a way of breaking that chain, really, and a, and a much quicker way of doing it than a PCR test because the results come in 20 minutes rather than, you know, a couple of days. So it's, it's, it's less reliable, but it's much quicker. Well, Professor Caroline Relton is an ep- epidemiologist at the university, and she's been explaining why they're using lateral flow tests and not the PCR tests local testing centres are using. They're a different sort of technology compared to the PCR tests that we're all very familiar with that you might get at a local testing centre. Um, the difference really is the speed with which you get a result here, so within 20 minutes to, to half an hour you'll get the result of the test, but with that becomes uh, becomes a bit of a compromise, so you, uh, the sensitivity of, of these tests is, is lower, so it means, for example, that every 100 cases that you may have uh, in your population being studied, a normal PCR test might pick up 99 of those, but this, these sorts of lateral flow tests may only pick up, say, 75 out of 100. So they are less sensitive. Is that why you have to take two? Um, that's part of the reason why we're asking students to come twice and take two tests within, within that three-day period. Now, Andrew, will the uh, university be able to offer this testing to all students in the time given? Well, that's a very good question. So um, you have to do a bit of a back-of-the-envelope calculation for that, really, because they say they can do about 2,700 tests a day. They've got two sites to do it with. And um, over the 10-day period, obviously, that works out at 27,000 tests. They've got 28,000 students on paper, but you have to take some away from that because not all students are at university at the moment. Not all that are at university will want to go home for Christmas. Um, and some of them will already have had coronavirus, so they won't need a test um, if they've had it recently. So um, they can do 27,000, but obviously you have to do people twice, so you can halve that number. But they can basically do you know, many, many thousands of students to send them off. So even if they can't do everyone, although I suspect they probably will do everyone who wants one, um, it, it will make a huge dent in isolating the virus before people start this mass migration across the country for Christmas. So that's really good. If you look at their latest cases, 
Um, they're really low. You know, they started off pretty high, didn't they? And we were reporting every day on the universities. At the moment, Bristol University has had 13 cases over the last seven days. Uh, it's way lower than it was a couple of months ago. Their rate per 100,000 is 46 per 100,000 at the moment. The rate in wider Bristol is 300. So the rate among students is now much, much lower than it is in the wider community. Now, I did manage to talk to the students' union today. They say they're satisfied with the measures that the university has put in place. Uh, Julio McCock is their representative. This is definitely enough way and over beyond. In the past, students have been victimised to be the sole reason of rising the number of cases. And the testing in this that the university is helping us students to be tested and will create a better image for students as we go out for Christmas and when we come back in order so that we can remove the negative press that is around students who are just normal, big adults just like everyone else. There you go. Uh, and our reporter, Andrew Plant, was telling me he's been at Wills Hall's at the University of Bristol today, finding out about their plan to test students for coronavirus before they go home for Christmas. The university can offer around 2,700 tests a day, but students will have to return two tests with a three-day gap between them because the type of test being used is less sensitive than the ones you get at Bristol Airport. Uh, you can find out more about that on tonight's Points West. Uh, Andrew Plant will bring you a full report with...